Hi, my name is Thorin Goodkind, and Goodkind is really my last name. But if you play me a game of chess, I am a mean kind of person. A couple of、um, days ago, I played in the Mechanics Tuesday Night Online Rapid Tournament, and in the first round, I played against Lightning Dragon Eight, and I did win this game. And I would like to show it to you. And I hope you enjoy、um, watching. Okay, my opponent、um, opened up with e4, and then I went d5. This opening is called the Scandinavian defense. Pawn takes. Then my queen takes it back, and then my opponent went knight to c3.、Um, of course, I have to move my queen. Because the knight is attacking it, and in the skin on the navian, you move the queen to a five. So that's what I did. I played the skin on navian defense many times, so I know what to do. Um, knight goes to f three, and then I um go a pawn to c six. And the reason why I do this is because this queen needs an escape. Um, diagonal. Um, this is just book that I played the Scandinavian many times, so I know like, um, I have to play c six so the queen can get to c seven or d eight. Pawn goes to d four. I get my other. I get my knight out. F six. Draw the center. Bishop to e two. And then I go. Um, bishop to g four. Notice that、um, I'm just getting the knights and the bishops out. Castle, and then I go e six. And the reason why I go e six is because I need to get my other bishop out, right? Pawn goes to h three. It's attacking my bishop, so I need to do something about it. I decided to move back. Bishop, sorry,、um, bishop to e three. So he's doing a good job getting the knights and the bishops out. I go bishop to d six to get、uh, my bishop out. Bishop goes to d three. Notice that this knight is pinned because if this knight moves, then my bishop takes his queen. Um. I get my other knight here. Okay, so knight goes to e four. It's attacking the knight and my bishop. And the oh, sorry. Um. Okay, so I decided to take it. Bishop takes. I move my other knight out. Notice my knight is now threatening to capture the bishop. So that's why the bishop、um, goes back, and then I decide to castle. This knight is still pinned because this bishop it is、um, still on the same diagonal as this queen. So pawn goes to c three. I move the rook here.、Um, again, this rook is not doing anything, so I decide to move my rook to d eight. And notice the rook is on the same diagonal as this queen and these other pieces too. So bishop goes here, and then、um, I go here, and I am attacking、um, the bishop. So、um, he decides to attack my knight. So I need to do something about the knight, and I decided to take it. He takes it back, of course, and then I go here. Um. And he can't take this pawn. Well, actually, he can, but it'd be kind of risky. If pawn takes pawn. Then I've got bishop h two, and then my rook would be attacking his queen. 
So he decides to go back. Um, I go here just to get tricky. And this is a very interesting move um, because he takes it and then I decide to take it back. Um, yeah, my e pawn decides to take the pawn on on d five, and this is still a um, poison pawn because again, um, the rook is on the same um, line as the bishop pawn and queen. So if queen takes pawn, then bishop takes h two, and then he loses his queen. So that's why he decided to move the king back there. I moved the um the bishop back here and the idea is that I want to move the queen over here. And um the purpose is I want my queen to go to h2. If the uh, if my queen does go here then um I would find a way to get rid of this um def um get rid of this knight. So he goes there and then I carry on my plan. I am threatening um, to take this knight again because if I can get rid of this knight then my queen sorry about that um Sorry, sorry about yawning. Um, if bishop, if my bishop can take the knight, then my queen can go to h2 and that we checkmate. And that's why I think that's why he decided to go there. Okay. So I decided to get my other rook into play. And then what he does is he goes there. And I find this to be... Um, interesting because now he's threatening to um, take this pawn and I'm also threatening to take this pawn so I end up um, going there and um, and so now my rook is attacking this bishop and then he decides to take it but do you know why he resigned? And the reason why he resigned is because um, my queen takes, then his rook takes, but notice that his bishop is not protected, right? When his, when his queen was here, the queen was protecting the bishop, but he decided to get greedy and he took the pawn and now his bishop, bishop's not protected. So um, I would have taken the queen, rook takes, and then um, I would just take his bishop, and then he'll be down a piece. So that's why he resigned. Um, let me know what you think about this game. Comment below. And I, ins um, I created this channel to inspire more women and girls to play chess. Um, so, if you like my videos, please subscribe um, to my channel and check out my website, Chess by Lauren. On my website, you can sign up for um, a chess class that meets every Sunday. It's for beginners. Um, check out the books that I've written, and I also like to create puzzles, so check out all 500 puzzles that I created. I upload a video every day, so please come back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.